pray for one another. Just pray, release fresh impartation of the Holy Spirit. All across this place, begin to pray for one another. Do something in Colorado. Communion services in every city, in every business, everywhere we're coming together around our divisions beyond our churches come on just pray for one another loose the baptism of love Just thank him just quietly for the preciousness of holy. He could feel what you wonder what pleasure God has. How often I would have gathered you under my wings. As we begin this communion time, I think it's incredible that Jesus came to his disciples and he said, how eagerly I have desired. Catch that. How eagerly have I desired to be with you for this Passover. Do you think he feels any differently with them than he does with us? Come on, we want to say we want you too. 
how eagerly I have desired. I want us to feel that tonight. The Lord eagerly desires to be here for this communion. And then he said, as often as you do it, I think we've just kind of treated that as some kind of, well, we're gonna do it in church. I wonder if it's the whisper of a lover who's basically whispering, I really want you to do it all the time. Because in my body and blood, you, the showbread, it's the bread of his face. We're not just taking bread, we're encountering his face. Come on, this is an encounter with his face. And in his blood is life, healing, everything, mental health and wholeness. I think he's whispering to lovers. Wherever I go these days, I, I feel like I've just gotten into it. People are taking communion everywhere. In Washington, D.C., a dream has been born of having tables from the Lincoln Memorial to the, Wash to, to the Capitol and calling all the whole church to the table. Something is going on that is way beyond our churches. Lift your hands and just say, Lord, we just... Why is he always coming to Bethany? Because someone wants him. We want you to say we, we desire your presence today in the body and the blood of Jesus and we receive you. We're gonna do something that I think pleases God. We're gonna bring out of our treasury both old and new. Anglican communion with open heart encounter. I think it pleases God. There's another reconciliation that is needed. Uh, Jesus prayed for this, that they might be one. He was actually talking about them and us, the Jews and the Gentiles. God is about to release us not just from Colorado and to the U.S., but into the nations and especially into Israel. So like the Jews, the Anglicans have been masters of um, order. The Seder, yeah. Um, you'll notice that the bread here is hollow bread. That's the traditional Sabbath, Shabbat meal. And Rabbi Stu is going to do the Hebrew blessing. How many of you have your cups, your, um, hold them up. They're not open yet, right? They're not open yet, okay. So this is a bit of a dance. Um, after you hear the Hebrew blessing for the bread, is before that, we want to open it up and hold it in our hands, open up the wine and hold it in our hands, like Blake's doing. Blake has it all. He's ready to go. Bless you, my brother. No, don't eat yet. We're entering into, we're in 
the throne room of grace. We're here. We're here. All who name the name of Jesus are welcome at this table. This is an ancient rite and the unbroken practice of the church since the days Jesus celebrated this Seder Supper the last time with his disciples the night before he was crucified. We stand and we hold the elements in your hand. We will instruct you when to open them and when to partake. The point of this is to enact the vision that the Apostle Paul speaks of in 1 Corinthians 10, 16 and 17 that Mike spoke of just a moment ago. The cup of blessing that we bless. Is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? Is the bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body. For we all partake of the one bread. The communion service that we celebrate here today is a service of oneness. Oneness with Christ, which is the basis of our oneness with one another. We are enacting and declaring with our partaking of these elements that we are very members of the body of Christ. With these words, we invite you to Communion, Colorado. It is right, our duty and our joy always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, for he is your living word from before time and for all ages. By him you created all things, and by him you make all things new. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and with archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain, holy, holy is He. Sing a new song to Him who sits on heaven's mercy. Raise it up. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Holy, holy is He. Sing a new song to Him who sits Yeah. 
Let's just lift it up. Laura, lead us into the high praises. The angelic rose. himself a full perfect and sufficient sacrifice of purification and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world and he instituted and in his holy gospel commanded us to continue a perpetual memory of his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again On the night that he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. As often as you eat this, do that in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, Jesus took the cup. When he had given thanks, he broke it. He said, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Whenever you drink it, do this in remembrance of me.
It is finished. It is finished. Now, O oh, merciful Father, in your great goodness, we ask you to bless and to sanctify with your word and Holy Spirit these gifts of bread and juice that we, receiving them according to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ's holy institution. In remembrance of his death and his passion, that we may be partakers of his most blessed body, and blood. And now here we offer and we present to you, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and our bodies to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice. We humbly pray that all who partake of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. May be filled with your grace and heavenly benediction and may be made one body with him that he may dwell in us. You may dwell in us, Lord Jesus, and we in you. It is by him and with him and in him in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. We're not going to partake yet. We're going to do a, a Hebrew blessing. But before we do that right now, I just want to have every eye closed. Just close your eyes. Just a moment of complete silence, even just the, the keys, if we can just stop everything right now. And we're going to behold the Lamb of God. Face to face. We want to see Him. So not a sound. Eyes closed. Behold Him. As a Jew, I just want to say thank you to the church that you prayed me into the kingdom. We are in a special season right now, the high holidays. Tomorrow night begins Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles. Pray for my people, because in the last great revival, my people are going to be saved, and they will cry out, Baruch Haba B'Shem Adonai. I want to speak a blessing over the bread. 
Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Hamotzi Lechem Min Haaretz Amen Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth bread from the earth. B'Shem Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. Amen. Please take the bread now. same night he took the cup and gave it to the disciples and he said this is the new covenant in my blood and he blessed Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam Borei Bari Ha'gafen Amen Badam Yeshua Blessed are you, O Lord of God, King of the universe, who brings forth the fruit of the vine and the blood of Yeshua. Hallelujah. B'Shem Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. Amen. Please receive the wine. Time. 